Potomac Beads. Join me in making this Halo Quartet bracelet, featuring our newest Halo bead, the Halo Diamond. Remember, you can use diamond duos or gem duos, or even keep extra seed beads and keep the holes with just a little bit of beads showing. If you need any supplies, check out the links below me to shop with us online. So to get started, I have on my mat my diamond halos here. So these are the halo in the diamond shape. And if you're not familiar with them, they are perfect for fitting in the diamond duo and the gem duo or just keeping open. I'm using the rose gold color and then I have diamond duos in the white loomy green and the white loomy purple. I'm going to be doing the design featuring the halos for diamonds where the green diamond duo does not have a halo around it and the purple do. We're gonna be doing some right angle weave and I have a size 10 beading needle, 1.006 wildfire beading thread in the gray color, about five feet of thread, along with a stop bead at the bottom of the thread, leaving about four inches of thread. I'm gonna begin by picking up my first diamond duo bead. As I look at it, it's flat on one side and has a nice cut section on the top. I'm going through the right hand hole when the cut section is facing up. It's going to be important to make sure that all of your diamonds face up. So if you want to, you can kind of preload your halos or you can drop them in as you go. What you're going to do is string through then the bottom of the halo, going right through the halo and the diamond duo. Put on, on one more in the rotation. Again, you can kind of drop it in there. Pick it up, so right through, or keep it down on your mat. After adding two, we're gonna add one more of the green color. Again, going through kind of that right hand hole. And then continue with two more of our halo and our diamond duos inside. Dropping them in, stringing through, and then we're going to round this out. What we're doing actually is a little bit of right angle weave, kind of a variation of that. Coming back now to our original diamond duo in that green color, sewing through that same hole and through that first diamond duo with the halo around it. That's going to bring this back into a and a circle and get our first flower there in place. Go ahead and take your thread and needle through the next halo diamond duo as well as the diamond duo that sits inside of it and then also through the next green diamond duo. Give a nice tight yank and a tight pull on the thread not on the needle and then you're going to take your thread from that first hole where your needle is coming out to the second hole. From here, you are literally going to repeat the same pattern the whole entire bracelet. So we're back to that first hole there, coming out and getting ready then to add our diamond duo one, two, our green, and then two more, and back through the original. Continue on the whole length of the bracelet, adding them in right next to one another to get this beautiful floral quartet design. As you're progressing along your design, the most important thing to keep track and to make sure of is that the thread is pulled nice and tightly. Again, we'll reinforce it as we go back and add in our crystals along the outer edge. But you also want to make sure that all of your diamond duos are sitting facing up or your gem duos in the middle if you want to combine the two. So after you're done kind of with that right angle weave going in and creating the center section, and I have 10 sections in the design, so um, I'm looking at 40 of my diamond halos. Coming out the last diamond duo, just like I would be getting ready to add my next of my section in, and don't worry when you pick it up, it doesn't look nearly as nice. When you set it down, it fits perfectly together. It's wonderful. So coming out the last diamond duo here, what you're gonna do is we're gonna connect into one portion of our clasp. I want you to go in and add in two of your Delicas or 11-0, it honestly doesn't matter what. The reason I'm using Delicas is because I'm using this three strand gold plated Delica clasp. After those two Delicas, I'm gonna go through the first hole or the middle hole rather of that bead there. Coming back through that first Delica bead, 
I'm going to go back through the Diamond Duo and reinforce this one more time. As I reinforce it one more time, oops, sorry, one more Diamond Duo after, or one more Delica after going back through. As I go through the Diamond Duo, then I'm going to reinforce it one more time to get that triangle to kind of sit there at the top. Going back through the two Delicas, through the clasp, back through the Delica, making sure that you're on the opposite side and that it's not just going to kind of pull and give way, and going back through the Delica after. From here, go ahead over through that last Diamond Duo again. And when I'm at that last Diamond Duo, I'm gonna get ready to come down the side adding in my first four millimeter crystals. Before I do that, I wanna go ahead and link in and connect to the clasp. So I'm gonna pick up three of my Delicas, then I'm gonna pick up one of my four millimeter bicones, and I'm using the Potomac Crystal Purple Iris. Oh, I'm sorry, two Delicas and one of my bicones. And then I'm gonna go through right after the bicone through my next loop of my clasp. Now you'll notice that I have both sides of my clasp attached currently right now, and then I have not decorated it with Delicas. You can do that before if you want to since they line in the channel, and I do have a video just for that. Or literally all you do is string the Delicas on your needle, lay a little bit of glue in the channel, and then bring the, pull the needle out. Coming out after the crystal and after looping through that Delica clasp, I want you to go through the 11O Delica there and out. What we're gonna do now is pull our thread and needle out towards the outer edge there to grab into the design. Again, adding in two Delicas, then going through that first diamond halo. From the first diamond halo, super simple. Add a four millimeter bicone, sew through the next one. When you get to above, when you get above the diamond duo in the green color, you sew right through to the next one. Every two diamond duos, you're adding one of your four millimeter beads. Sewing through the diamonds, one and two and you're adding another one of your crystals. You're gonna go down the whole right side doing this, adding the crystal just a little sneak peek there on the top, and then we're gonna to attach to a clasp on the other side and come back and decorate the bottom as well. When you're coming out the other side here and you're getting ready to add your clasp, you wanna make sure that your clasp is lined up so that it will actually link together and sit correctly. I'm coming out of the last of my Halo Diamond Duo, and what I'm gonna do is grab my two and three seed beads and my four millimeter crystal. So I'm grabbing one, two, three, four millimeter crystal. Right after the four millimeter crystal, I'm gonna go through that first loop of my clasp, back down through the first two beads, my four millimeter and my Delica, and then to mirror the other side, I'm gonna add one more Delica and sew into that Diamond Duo. From here, you're going back to what you did in the middle where you're gonna add two Diamond Duos, go ahead into that middle loop So up through the middle loop, go back down through the last 11 out, add one more Delica, back through the Diamond Duo. Give a nice tight pull, forcing that to create a triangle at the top. Reinforce the middle hole one more time, going back up through the two Delicas, through that Delica clasp loop, back down through the Delica bead, making sure that you're not going back through the crystals at all. Out through the dude Delicas on the side. And then we're gonna connect again. To connect again, what I want you to do is you're gonna go through that bead again. Change directions. And come on out through the side there. 
This is also where we're going to get rid of that stop thread. So we're going to take off that starter bead and I'm going to tie my thread in a knot getting rid of that starter thread. After burning down that thread to connect the final side, I'm going to go back through my first halo diamond, then out through the top hole of that halo diamond, add in three 15 O's, or I'm sorry, three 11 O's, one of your four millimeter crystal, and through the side here. Come back down through the crystal and through the one delica, add in another delica, and sew back through that diamond duo. We're gonna repeat that pass one more time, going from the top hole to the bottom hole of the diamond duo. Once you're out the diamond duo bottom hole, you're gonna snake back through again, through your clasp, through the crystal, and back down through the seed beads and out the diamond duo and continue on down, adding your four millimeters as you go. So this is a chance to reinforce that clasp going back through the green diamond duo, back through the halo purple diamond duo, back up through the top, through the four, bring your thread and needle back down through the four, through the one, two, three fifteens, and then out to add our crystals down to the side. Once you get done with the second side here, you can see exactly what it looks like on, and I absolutely love the look of this on with those uh, halo diamonds. When you get to the end here, I have it clasped, but I'm gonna go back and mimic the other side, adding in three of my Delica beads and then one of my crystal and connect and reinforce. If you want to, at this point too, you can reinforce the other side of the clasp, going back through the loops, but just adding in the beads, closing it up, and then the final task will be taking all of the delicas, lining them up on my needle and thread, doing some glue in there, lining them up perfectly, and then sliding the needle out as they catch on to the glue. They'll sit right in that nice little track there once you glue them down, and you'll have a nice purple addition to the clasp. Once you get to that clasp, portion, you're going to put on 12 of your Delica beads onto your needle and put a little bit of E6000 glue or some Loctite. Put your beads on a needle and string them, preferably not with your fingers as much as I am, on your Delicas in the line and press them down. That will glue the delicas there in place. And if you let the glue go too long, to your fingers. After you get your delicas in place there, you'll have 12 delicas to the line. Again, I just drop a little bit of glue on, put 12 delicas on my needle and slide them off and your bracelet will be completed. It'll fit nice and in there then and really have a beautiful ending and clasp to the design. Thank you so much for joining me in making this Halo Quartet bracelet. Remember there's a bunch of different ways you could do this if you want to keep it just with seed beads and crystals in the middle, diamond duos, have some gem duos running down the center, it's up to you. I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's designs and if you want to comment below and let us know exactly what you did to change up the design, that would be great to let other beaters know as well. Remember to hit that little button in the corner there to subscribe to get regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads and if you do happen to need materials, check the little drop down list as well. Thanks so much for watching everyone and hopefully you are as excited and getting ready to share in the joy of working with the Halo Diamond Bead.